So long on guys, that one nerd here. And today's topic is Marvel Comics. Specifically one I've been reading a lot on. Um uh if you guys are not big Spider-Man fans, just uh skip to previous videos or whatever next video is after this. But um yes, this is a thing this is an event going on right now in the Spideyverse called um well it's called it's called uh Spider-Verse. And uh it's pretty much about uh every Spider-Man ever created like in any in any universe right now is being attacked and killed by these guys called the inheritors and these guys are basically these uh immortal well not so immortal you'll see when you start reading pretty much these immortal guys who uh live off the life force of only spider-man of spider-man spider-woman anybody who's ever been bit by the spider or has the spider-man gene uh is pretty much getting taken out and absorbed by these guys now of course, you got the main Spider-Mans in, uh, in this. You got the Amazing Spider-Man. You got the Superior Spider-Man. Remember that little pot? If you guys haven't read the Super Superior Spider-Man, look into it. But this is a little pocket of time where a Superior Spider-Man, a.k.a. Doc Ock. Yes, Doc Ock. He goes into this random uh, this random universe, which is 2099 Spider-Man's uh, world. And uh, he ends up there, and he ends up fighting alongside a bunch of other Spider-Man, including... Um, uh, uh, Gwen Stacy Spider-Man, which is awesome. Oh my God! Uh, uh, ben Riley Spider-Man, uh, uh, Ultimate Spider-Man, and a bunch of other ones. And he ends up fighting with him and Amazing Spider-Man, and they all just try to band together. And Silk, which is uh, with with Spider-Man, the Amazing Spider-Man, also. And they just end up, you know, really trying to freaking just destroy these inheritors. I mean, these guys are just douches. And there's like five or six of them, and they just try to just take out these Spider-Man as, as quickly and as pleasurable as possible. I mean, these guys are just douches. I mean, if you ever seen Freddy Krueger, the way he kills people in their dreams, just with a smile on their face and just the, the with a quick remark, like a, like a really funny remark, these are pretty much these guys. Pretty much the, the Freddy Krueger of of the Spider-Man universe, and they're just douches. I mean, they, they, they're relentless. They just go and go and go, and they don't stop, and they can teleport and go to any universe, and they've been doing this for for a really long time I suppose and and it's just crazy and and one of them in particular I forgot their name but they're really afraid of going into the amazing spider-man universe because they've already died there twice uh, the name escapes me right now but I uh, just comment below and tell me the name and I'll remember it from reading there uh, so yeah these guys are just relentless and horrible and despicable and it's gonna be a really tough task for for the spider-man for these all these spider-men but uh, just see, just seeing all all the Spider Men that that we've we've seen in the past, and just like meeting new ones. I mean, being introduced to new ones, especially uh, Gwen Stacy Spider Man. I mean, uh, Marvel, you're just doing doing really good ideas. Just having a bunch of really good ideas over there. So uh, that's what I, that's what I like. That's what our re your readers like, obviously. Uh, and it's picking up, and then they they're just expanding it so much that they have the Spider Verse, which is go just going on with the Amazing Spider Man. I know it's just going on with the Spider Verse in general, and then you have the Amazing Spider Man uh, is is bleeding into the Amazing Spider Man comics into like uh, into the Clone, uh, into like the Ultimate comics a little bit. No, no, no not Ultimate comics. Bleeding into like Spider Woman, like Spider Woman comics, bleeding into like uh, the Clone Saga comics is bleeding into Spider Man twenty ninety nine comics. It's just like everywhere, and it's it's a little it's, <laughs> it's a little crazy because it's a lot of ching ching to be spent on it but it's it's worth it because the storyline is good so far you guys really get into it and um these guys have pretty much the inheritors have pretty much no weakness so it's it's gonna oh yeah and plus you have a cosmic spider-man i mean the, this guy's like ultimate he's freaking oh he's he's awesome but um you guys really get into this i give this this series is really good so far i can't really give a a, a grade on it because it's not done yet but it's really good go check it out uh, go to your nearest comic book store and uh, just do this. Go. I'm not plugging for any comic book stores in particular. Uh, uh, Midtown Comics. Uh, but uh, well, that's my favorite anyway. But uh, just go and have fun. Have a good time. Read it. You know, go, go on. Um, they have it on digital too, so you can just go online and pick it up. It's really awesome. Go check it out. Spider Verse. All the other Spider-Man comics involved with Spider-Verse. Check it out. It's awesome. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I want to say. And uh, if you guys have any ideas about any other uh, Spider-Man comics you want me to talk about, like Ultimate Spider-Man or anything like that, put them in the comments down below and uh, let me know about it. Um, 
yeah, I'm just really excited about this comic. So, uh, but anyways, uh, if you guys have any other ideas of anything else you want me to talk about, put them in the comments down there uh, below also. And uh, just let me know. So until next time, guys, this is that one right here. Signing off. Till later, guys.